High School Football is back on WOS, and tonight the 2024 season kicks off. First Friday night action about to be under the lights. I guess we are under the lights. We'll feel it here in about an hour. We are in McGuffey, Ohio tonight, Upper Scioto Valley, hosting Ada as we welcome you into a new season of high school football. Hello again, everyone. I'm Patrick Hamler, Darren Gilbert alongside me here as we get ready for action. And it's Ada and Upper Scioto Valley again, the uh, traditional lid lifter for these teams, at least over the last few years. Ada uh, trying to come back and reassert themselves. USV typically having good seasons. They've had the great seasons here the last couple of years. However, this game has gone Ada's way most of the last few years. Well, in, in, you know, first of all, welcome to you too, Patrick. I'm looking forward to this uh, upcoming 2024 season. This is a contest of Hardin County Schools. The kids know one another. They play various sports against one another. Uh, USV is going to have to replace an all-stater. We all know about what Alex Sanders brought to the table on both sides of the ball. So now they're going to transition to put it Maddox Underwood at quarterback. They have some very skilled players. And like you said, Ada has owned the series for a few years. They are very skilled, and both coaches are pleased with their preseason up to date. And, you know, what a fabulous night for football. A little warm. But uh, I'll take it better than rain and snow and sleet and all that good stuff. Yeah, we'll have those soon enough. Both these teams with quarterbacks that are experienced yet a little on the new side. Levi Green back under center after dealing with some ankle injuries last season that limited his play. Maddox Underwood, as you mentioned, Alex Sanders uh, graduating. So it'll be Maddox Underwood under center for Upper Scioto Valley. A lot of great uh, skill players on both sides. And a fascinating matchup as we get more into this. Ada, of course, in the Blanchard Valley Conference uh, beginning play this season there as Upper Scioto Valley. Uh, hosting them once again. When we return, we will have the kickoff between the Rams and the Bulldogs right here on WOSN. Stay tuned. Tonight's premier sponsor for Upper Side of Valley is the Rams Roost in McGuffey. The best pizza in McGuffey. Go Rams. And the pizza is good. And the pizza is good. We sampled some earlier tonight, and it has the WOSN seal of approval. Though, really, it, it's it's hard to mess up pizza with this with this crew. Oh, I'm uh. telling you. <laughs> and we are underway for high school football here. Upper Scioto Valley will receive the football at the 10-yard line. And dropped around the 15-yard line as Upper Scioto Valley going to work. Ryan Roberts on the return. Appears to be TJ Griffith on the stop for the Bulldogs. So that'll bring up Maddox Underwood, the senior signal caller, 5'11", 160. Yeah, here's what's impressive. You know, he played out of the running back position last year, toted the football for an average of 8.9 yards a game, so he's dangerous with his feet. Definitely something Ada should be looking for. Well, we talked about that in pregame. They're going to load the box with eight guys, and they're going to make him, you know, throw the football. So we have here on first and ten, and it's going to be Underwood with the keeper across to the 25-yard line, and that's about it. Trevor Magoo on the stop along with Caleb Hickman coming up from his corner position. Bring about a two-yard gain, and that's probably something that we're going to see a lot from Underwood, uh, not just in this game but in the season, is that kind of dual threat ability because he has that experience. Uh, he's had that experience under center, but I think we're going to probably see a little bit more of the running game to start. Uh, we'll see how this happens here on second down. It's going to be a handoff, nice spin move, pushing his way almost to the 30-yard line, stopped at the 29 Appeared to be Hickman on the stop. That was Roberts on the carry. Ian House for the Bulldogs. Early on, it, it appeared to be number four. Trevor Magoo got his hands on the running back. It just slithered his way through. Yep. And if you're the Bulldogs, this is what you want. You want the Rams put them in a third and four, third and five situation. Shotgun set, third and four. Underwood fakes. Throws back in trouble, gets it off. Pass is complete, but good defense there. Stopped just shy of the first down, and that will force fourth down. 
Boy, Caleb Hickman on the stop. That's three quick tackles for that young man. Well, I take that back. They are going to give them the first down yardage. I thought he was stopped short, Gilly. Yeah, I did too, but I'll tell you what. He extended his arms and got the football across that plane. First down. So nice last second stretch there. Last effort gets the first down. And not bad defense by the Bulldogs. You know, they just an, an excellent play there by the offensive player who received the football to extend that football across the plane. So a Kenton Moose first down for the Rams, and the drive stays alive. Here's a pitch to Roberts, working the near side and stopped behind the line oh my goodness. for about a three-yard loss. We'll say it again. Caleb Hickman coming up. Boy, did he close on that football quick. He sure did. Four plays, four tackles for the young man. 5'10", junior, one of the returning lettermen on this Ada Bulldog defense. And has got Upper Scioto Valley behind the sticks here on second down. Tell me that's not a luxury to have playing back there and making an open field tackle like that. Without a doubt. Here comes the Rammies. 9.33 remaining in the first quarter. Underwood keeps it. Across the 30, and that is it. He is swarmed by Bulldogs. It'll be third down. Brody Erickson on the stop, along with, here to be number 10, T.J. Griffith from his inside linebacker position. No doubt, another passing down coming up for the Rams. The ball just uh, shy of the 32-yard line. It's going to make it a third down and 12. Yep, long 12, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Here's the dogs are going to man up on the wide receivers. Three out to the left. That's where Underwood's looking. Third and long. With time, steps up, lets it go. Pass oh, incomplete. Nice it's going to be up. That Hickman sure is. He broke that pass up. Nice play defensively. I think we may have a hold though, partner. I think you're right. Flag down at the 21-yard line. They're going to decline the penalty, however. So that'll make it fourth down. Good pressure there. Didn't quite see who that was on applying the pressure, but it was enough that the offensive lineman hooked the defender. Official on top of it on the spot. Called it a hold. Bulldogs decline it. And credit to Landon Simon, their number 54 for Ada. He was really the only guy uh, that showed pressure there for Ada, was able to be one of the contributors in pressuring that particular attempt. Now the ball squirms to the 38-yard line, is fielded by Ada, taking a shot, but getting across to the 46-yard line. That's number three, Caleb Hickman, once again. He's had a busy day so far. He's had a busy day, yes, sir. Gets his pads fixed, and now the Bulldogs will come out for their first possession. Yeah, you can't teach speed, partner. That's for sure. The Ada Bulldogs coming back out on the field three and seven in last year's campaign. In fact, they were uh, at a one point where they had lost 28 of 32 regular season games, but they have come back. They've got the numbers back up, and they're looking to turn the corner here this season. Staying healthy will be a big part of that. Levi Green at quarterback, and we're going to have a false start to get the season started. Everybody moved except the football. <laughs> That's one of those. Tw like, false start, oh. everyone but the center. Yes. <laughs> That's a little miscommunication between center and quarterback. So that'll back him up five yards, and we'll try it again now at first and 15. So we're saying Levi Green, the starting quarterback, was the starter last year, um, hampered by injuries, wasn't able to stay on the field. And that limited, of course, Ada's offensive effectiveness. We'll see how they do this year. They're going to hand the ball off to start Kane Fisher, who made the move over to running back after last year. He picks up about three on the carry. Appears to be Mason Thompson on the stop there, along with Ryan Roberts for the Rammies. And much like we saw Upper Side of Valley kind of feel out the process with not slinging it right away, we're probably going to see Ada 
run the ball, try to establish some rhythm on offense before they take to the air. All right, we're going to have a little bit of a pitch. This one going out and not going anywhere. Flag on the play there at the 46-yard line as Fisher was stopped behind the line for about a three, four-yard loss. Yeah, really good job there by the Rammies. Chasing it down. Appeared to be Caden Lowry on the stop. And we're going to have holding on Ada in addition to that. And I think think they are going to accept the penalty, so they're going to push Ada back that much further and make it third down. Or did they decline it? So if they accepted it, it'd be making second down, right, Gilly? Yeah, you would think, yeah. I'm trying to figure out a number out there, and I don't have him on the USV's <laughs> roster. Looks like 73, but I'm not sure, sure, sure who that is. Don't have him on the he's roster, a but he's spot. number one in someone's heart here in McGuffey. Third down and 13, and going long, other side, and incomplete. Trevor McGew, the intended receiver on that one, and that'll bring up fourth down. Not a bad thrown ball. He threw it in a position where that defender couldn't get his hands on it. Off the fingertips, like you said. Both teams feeling one another out here in this first quarter. Both of them going to get a stop, and each team's going to punt the football here in the first quarter. So opportunities here so far to see the punting units for both sides as we get going. Andrew Allen, the sophomore, doing the punting and kicking for the Bulldogs here this season. I also believe he plays soccer too, partner. Got a good leg on him. That, that would not be a surprise. Gets this one off, going to the right side, and it's going to take a nice eight of bounce across the 30, around the 27-yard line, and that is where it will get downed. And upper side of Alley will take over about the same spot that they had the ball to begin the game. Bringing out their second series here for the Ringhams. So the Rams will come out and try to figure out something on offense after not getting much of anything going on their first drive. One first down, and that was about it. Ada's defense stiffened up, actually lost yardage on the next few plays. Be interesting to see what head coach Dustin Price decides to dial up here for the second series. 7.27 remaining in the first quarter. Underwood with the keeper working that far side, breaking a couple tackles and getting out to the 34-yard line. Appears to be pushed out of the boundary by number 10. T.J. Griffith from his linebacker position. Nice run there by Underwood, as we said, coming in. 8.9 yards per carry last year for the young man. Total change for him being moved from wide receiver to quarterback. They'll still try to use that athleticism that he brings to the table. We've seen that here on a couple of plays so far. This is going to be a handoff and going nowhere. Ada sniffed that out all the way. Stopped for a loss of looks like about five there, and it's going to be third and long. Yeah, I think that was Bo Sanders on the handoff, and Erickson was right there to meet him along with Landon Simon for the Bulldogs. Double nickel. First on the scene, Brody Erickson. And third down, and it looks like about 13 here coming up for USV. That one third down. This looks like a screen was set up. Wide open up the middle is Mason Thompson. Thompson with the first down and then some. Still on his feet to the 25 and pushed out of bounds around the 23-yard line. A Kenton Moose first down and a big gain for the Rams. Yeah, it sure was. They drug him across the middle of the field from this side nearest us and wide open and turned a minimum gain or middle size gain into a long gain with his speed and his effort. I didn't quite see who brought him down, partner. Didn't see that either. He had some help, but before that, he picked up 52 yards and a much-needed first down and able really to flip the field 
as they are in plus territory for the first time tonight. 5.47 remaining in the first quarter. Still no score on the Lee scoreboard, but the Rams looking to do something about that here. Now working the other side on the pitch. Out across to the 15-yard line as Bo Sanders, the sophomore, 6'2", 205, running with the rock. Looks just like his brother, doesn't he? Yeah. He got his shoulder square to the line of scrimmage and pounded his way down. Did you say, I hear a flag on the play? Uh, yeah, indeed, there is a flag there okay. on the 35-yard line, and it's going to be a holding call. Okay. So that's going to knock all of that yardage back. So no gain. And that's going to move the ball back to the just past the 40-yard line. So that'll make a first down. Still be first down, but it'll be first and about 20. Stacking up the holding calls on both sides here so far. And another flag. And I think this is going to be offsides. Encroachment. Yeah, encroachment. So USC will get five yards back. We know it's August. They're ironing out the exactly. kinks. They're trying to figure exactly. things out, you know. Yep. yep. Yeah, all these things are correctable. That's a great point. There's, there's practice. I mean, these kids have been at it for a few weeks now, getting things going, getting reps, getting uh, the experience, but there is really nothing that simulates actually Live playing action. in a game. Yep. Exactly, where WRL comes out at the end. First and 15. Fakes pitch. Goes inside. Fighting for additional yards is Roberts, and he has stopped just shy of the 30, about the 31-yard line. Well, he's another young man that came in this year with 518 yards from last year on 63 carries, averaging just about 8.2 per carry with three touchdowns. Good job there by the Ada defense, stifling that stop there by a host of Bulldogs. 5'10", 180-pound junior. Second down and 12. Underwood. Takes the snap, upended at the 30, but dives ahead to the 28-yard line. I'll bring up a third and short coming up for, or sorry, third and long for USV. Nice play there by Levi Green coming up from the safety position to make that tackle, grabbing Underwood around the ankles, bringing him down. Ball in the 28, third down and nine. And we are coming up on a little over four minutes remaining in the first quarter. And they'll hand it off up the middle. And a few additional yards. Bulldogs. Indeed, about a four-yard gain. That'll bring up fourth down. Appears to be Griffith on the stop, along with Zimmerman. Colton Dyser. And uh, one of these decision times, do you punt it? Do you go for it? Depends what you want to work on, I guess. They don't appear to be setting up a punt, Gilly. No, I think they're going. I think they're going to take their shot. I think they felt confident with the pass that they had completed to, to Thompson. Let's see what they come up with a game plan to see if they can't get about eight for that first down. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good call there, partner. Timeout. And Critton Aerial Applications timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. 3.31 remaining in the first quarter. No score here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens. And our first down sponsor is the Kenton Moose. It's Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose, 428 in Kenton. Online at kentonmoose428.com. Fourth and six for the home team. The Rams looking to convert on this six yards. Underwood flushed, getting rid of it, trying to get rid of it, and gets it up incomplete. I don't know they're going to say he's down, so 
The difference being whether it's an incompletion or a sack, the Bulldogs will get credit for the sack, and it's a turnover on downs forced by the Ada defense. What a heady play by number 10, or excuse me, number 6, Colton Dyser, the outside linebacker, staying at home. Not only staying at home, but getting an aggressive play there on Underwood with pressure. Did they did they call him down? They did, okay, yes. They did they call did. him down, so give that young man his first sack of the season. So a good defensive play by the Bulldogs. And Ada will take over at their own 35-yard line. Green in the gun, rolling out to his right side. First and 10. And throws it. Pass is complete. Pickup of 12. And a Kenton Moose first down. Appears to be to Caleb Hickman. Yeah, it was Caleb Hickman with the completion. Nice little... Bootleg right there by Mr. Green. A little pitch and catch. Like you said, just enough for a first down. Move them chains. Oh, they did call it in. Oh, so it was incomplete. Pardon okay. Me. Must not have gotten the foot in bounds. At least that's what it looked like from up here. So um, instead, it'll be second and ten. A little bit of a jump, fake handoff. Green with the keeper and thrown down at the 39, picks up a four. Trying to see who on the stop there. And upper side of Valley player is that slow to get Bo, up. Bo Sanders on the unassisted stop there by that young man. Kellen Holen for upper side of Valley is down. We will step away. And take a timeout. 3.07 left in the first quarter. No score here from Upper Scioto Valley. Welcome back. 3.07 remaining in the first quarter. Third down and six coming up for Ada. Kellen Holen for Upper Scioto Valley. The injured. Ram in the last play being attended to on the sideline. Had Ada convert on third down on the 39 yard line. Green, quick pass, complete, and good for a Kenton Moose first down. Caleb Hickman, who has had a very busy first quarter with the completion. You know, I'm really disappointed in Dylan Hunter here at Upper Soto Valley. You know? But all jokes aside, you've got to give USV Athletic Department and their Board of Education for what they've done to this press box. It is unbelievable what they've done here. Mm -hmm. Thank you to them, and thank you for having us here tonight for this contest. It's a press box with plenty of headroom, which I know you appreciate, Gilly. Absolutely. Fresh set of downs. Ball at the 46. This is green. Across midfield and brought down to the 47-yard line. Nice seven-yard pickup on the play. Yeah, he banged his way for about seven. I think it was Ryan Roberts who came up for the tackle, number one, for the Rams. Be a second down and three. We come up on two minutes remaining on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Hand off to the 45 before being pushed back. That was Kane Fisher on the carry. Yeah, good job by the Rams right there, stuffing that A and B gap. Got a very short, like you said, a gain of about one. Going to be a long third and two, isn't it? Indeed it is. Going to have to get to the Look, I crossed the 44-yard line in order to get that first down. Green point that someone jumped, but we're just going to keep it going here. I think Coach Smith wants to take a timeout here. Indeed he does. Critton Aerial Applications timeout. And we will keep it here, 117 remaining and you now so far 
it's really been kind of a feeling out process. It, it's looked like August football. It's looked like we're trying to figure things out and see kind of where our strengths are and what we can exploit well, on the opponent. You can guarantee that they have, that both coaches have had scrimmage tapes, okay, on both opponents, and they've they broke things down and they're trying to take away the strengths and make them play to their weaknesses. And it's been nothing but a change of field, so to speak, here in this first quarter. But my question is, who do we blame for the heat? <laughs> Did we blame Mark Allstetter, you know, from the Lima News that, you know, he should have brought a fan with us? Well, he's been up here sweating a lot, so I don't think he's as much a victim as any of us. You know, thank goodness I've got a area where the sun is not in my eyes, but if I bring my paper up near me, I will sweat all <laughs> over it. But, no, it's just been it's been a position of field position right now, and, and uh, kudos to both teams and especially the defensive coordinators. And yeah. And um, that's why you play four quarters of football. You make adjustments, and the team that does that and doesn't turn the football over has a great chance to go 1-0. So we're going to be back to it here at third and two. Green and a gun set. Man in motion. And it's going to be a direct snap, but USV is all over it. Kane Fisher was the recipient and is dropped for a loss. Appeared to be Doug May, number 69. Nice job coming in there making the tackle from his left defensive end position. Uh, Rams looked like they saw that coming all the way, and it'll be fourth and four. And it looks like Ada will punt this one away. Gets this one off from the 40. Fair catch called for at the 15. Nice punt by that young man. Like you said, Roberts took the fair catch. A couple of nice punts. And it'll be USV once again in the same area of the field that they've started the last, well, all of their drives. Definitely a night you got to keep fluids in you, both players and officials. And commentators and, and, commentator. uh, and media <laughs> folks. I'm afraid I don't want Mark Holstetter to press boxers or start uh, say. cramping up on us here. Underwood rolling out on first down, looking, tucks and runs across the 20, tuck inside of the 25 and the 27 before he is brought down. That's going to be good for a Kenton Moose first down. Dalton Amos on the stop along with Landon Simon, but not until Mr. Underwood with his legs picked up a first down. And there's just no doubt when Underwood is scrambling. So far, that's where he's really looked very comfortable when he's been able to kick the ball and use his legs to make plays. Absolutely. The only thing different he's doing now is he's, a, you know, he's calling the signals and the ball's being snapped to him. He's just got to throw the football. He can still run it with his legs. That is going to do it for the first quarter of action here from USV. No score as we head to the second here on WOSN. Get started. Our timeout sponsor, Critton Aerial Application, providing you with custom liquid and granular crop applications, all from our innovative drone system. Video and information on our Facebook page. And the touchdown sponsor is Ada Automotive. Stop by and see us for all your automotive needs or call 419 634 2816. No touchdowns yet in this one as we head to quarter number two from Upper Scioto Valley High School. The Rams and the Ada Bulldogs. Yeah, this is where you dig a little deeper in your playbook, partner. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You start uh, taking shots. Though if you really like defensive struggles, this has been your game so far. Underwood with the keeper. 
and in trouble, and he is going to be dropped behind the line, the 20 five-yard line, able to get back some of what was going to be lost, but still is a loss of one. Great play there by Colton Dysart from his linebacker position, making the unassisted tackle right there. Solo tackle. Got him by the ankles and tripped him up for, what, about a minus one? Yep. Second down and 11 for USV. He mentioned going deeper into the playbook, Gilly. It'll be interesting to see what they do and what that specifically looks like. Yeah, and at what time do they decide to do that? That too. Here's Roberts on the carry. Out across the 25 to the 28-yard line. Modest pick up there. It'll bring up third down and long once again for USV. Landon Simon, the six foot two, 200-pound defensive tackle on the stop for the Bulldogs. It'll be interesting if they don't come back and try to find Mr. Thompson again down the yep. seam. They had success on one of those as far as getting the yardage. It was called back to because of a hold. Underwood, little chicanery. How about the back of the playbook, Gilly? Let's see if they can make something happen. Roberts lets it go, looking for Underwood, and the pass is knocked down. Flags all over the place as this is going to be uh, I would say defensive pass interference coming up. My, well, my question is, is it a catchable ball or is it a hold? Got a couple of flags out here, one at the 50, one by the 45. So that is a great question, partner. We'll see what they decide here. Not a bad thrown ball right there. And I th think they're calling, I think it's DPI. Okay. Indeed it is. Okay. Defensive pass interference. So a little halfback pass action. Doesn't complete the pass, but it does get them down the field. Yeah, Underwood went into a full sprint down the sidelines and got a matchup with the linebacker, and the linebacker was running stride for stride, but I think it was the bump while the ball was in the air that the official saw as illegal contact. So that'll be a Kenton Moose first down on the penalty, and that'll put the ball at the 42-yard line. Underwood under center, first down, handoff to Roberts. Uh, take that back, Mason Thompson on the carry out to the 45-yard line. Senior Dalton Amos, number 60 on the stop for the Bulldogs. Nice little gritty run there by the senior. Apparently close, Coach Price sees something on the interior that he thinks will win, win the battle. Let's see if he keeps going there. In the gun. Swings a pass out to Roberts. Coming back out the other side. A bit of a modified screen set. It picks up a couple of nice blocks. Roberts across the 45 to the 43. Another Kenton Moose first down. Yeah, he went back against the green. Got the ball on the right side and came back with it. Got some blocking in front of him and worked his way across midfield down to about the 40, what, 43, 44 yard line. Indeed, yeah. Looks like it's in between the 43 and the 44. You don't really see that very often, the pass going to the opposite side where the screen, where the, yeah, screen blocking is set up. But it worked out for the Rams in this case. Here's Roberts on first down. Pushing bodies ahead and squirting out to the 35-yard line. Nice pickup, about eight yards on the carry. Working those legs, churning his way. Good run there by that young man. Appeared to be Blake Zoldad, Zoladz on the stop. Bring up second down and one as USV finding some success in the middle of that A to defense here in the second quarter. Yeah, they're just satisfied with punishing the football between the tackles right now. And there they go right back to it. That is Thompson. He gets pushed back, but I imagine he's going to get credit for the forward progress and a Kenton Moose first down. 
Good job with the stop there for the Bulldogs, but Thompson's leg has got him enough first down there. Caleb Hickman on the stop. So, appeared to be also part, G Gavin Oldfield appeared to be on the stop also, partner. My fault. Rams are on the move. Ball in the 32 in plus territory. Just over eight minutes remaining here in the first half. Handoff once again, and this time the Bulldogs snuff it out. No gain. Yeah, Mr. Amos, Dalton Amos said, uh-uh. And he didn't let him go, did he? He got him and grappled him to the ground for a no gain. He certainly did not. In fact, maybe even lost a little bit on that play. Six foot, 265 pound senior. Another run up the middle in the Ada defense. Courtesy of Mr. Amos said, no more of that. So to the air they go, in trouble. Underwood lets oh, it nice go, play. and it's Who caught. Is that? But is that Colton Dizer? Sure lost. is. It absolutely is. The catch made by Bo Sanders, but had nowhere to go. You know, and that's a sophomore. You think about that, that's a sophomore with only one year of football mm -hmm. experience. A lot of guys would have bit that, not him. He stayed right there and stayed in his lane and his position, made a nice open field tackle on Bo Sanders. Brings up a third down and 14. Hey, partner, it's cooling off. <laughs> there's a little bit of a breeze. It is, there's a little breeze. Well, by October, it might be reasonable. Yeah. Third and 14, back to pass is Underwood. With time, has to roll out to the right. Takes the check down, complete. Kitten moves first down, and then somebody's gonna die for the end zone. And they're going to say he's out of bounds, just shy of the end zone. Gets the first down. It's going to be first and goal for Upper Side of Valley. Well, give a lot of credit to Underwood. You know what? He waited till he cleared, and that was Roberts. And they got a matchup. I believe it was on a linebacker, an inside linebacker, and he just got behind the linebacker and. Beautiful pitch and catch and great effort to get him down to about what? The one yard line? I think so. It's awful close. Let's put it that way. Oh, they called him down. Yeah, they called him down. I would say one, possibly the two yard line, it looks like. See if they can get a push and put this one in for six. First and goal. Here's the handoff to Roberts, who will try and finish it off, and he is in for an Ada Automotive touchdown. Yeah, he bounced outside. Inside was covered up, bounced outside, covered the two yards for the Ram touchdown, the first touchdown of the year for Upper Side of Alley. Roberts takes it in from one yard out, capping off the drive, and it's a 6 nothing USV lead. With the extra point on coming. Upper Side of Valley does not have a uh, kicker listed on their roster, so we'll see who takes the kicking duties on. Looks like it is a two-point two conversion attempt. Underwood with the pass is caught for two. Underwood threading the needle. And I think Is that's that Roberts. I think that's Roberts. Okay. On the completion. So the two point conversion is good. And with 6.37 left in the first half, it's an 8 0 USD lead here on WOSN. Sponsor is Thermal Guard Window and Door. Quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit thermalguardwindows.com or call 419 229 4273 for your free estimate. USV taking advantage of the Thermal Guard red zone and scoring. Ada, Ada Automotive touchdown. Two point conversion is good, making it eight to nothing. USV. Boy, what a nice crowd for opening night of high school football. Actually, it was what? Last night was opening night. A couple right. teams played. Yeah. But, yeah, for a stone's throw away for each school district, nice crowd here tonight. 
I've been doing the opening nights on Thursday nights here for the last couple of years, and I've called a few of those games, but I'm still not used to it. Still not no, used it's, to it's, the it's, it's Thursday night. It? Yeah. A short kick. I don't know if that was meant to be on sides, but in any case, it's fielded by Ada right around midfield, so the Bulldogs will start in plus territory at the USV 49. I'll tell you, the young man made a nice play right there, catching that football and not running with it and dropping right to the ground. Fundamentally sound play there yep. by the Bulldogs. Great field position for him also. Of course, you notice the 70 and CW there between the 40 and the 45 yard line just to the bottom right of the U. Uh, recognition of Kale Winning, who, cold water student who passed away earlier this week. Moment of silence for him. My blessings to cold water to the community and his family. On first down, carry for about two or three. Of course, our thoughts and prayers with the cold water community and the Absolutely. Winning family. There's no good time to lose a child, but you certainly don't want to lose one right before school starts. I finally figured out, partner, who that young man was that crossed that line drive kickoff. That would happen to be Kobe Harris. Oh, okay. Nice play by that young man. Send a little kudos out to him. That's a tough play for a big fella, and he secured it and dropped right to the ground. Nice hands play. <laughs> Bulldogs back on offense, second down and eight. Green rolling out, throwing. Nice catch, complete. Hickman with the catch and going out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Good for a Kenton Moose first down. Yeah, he's the type of kid you've got to give him a little bit of space because if he just turns and burns, you know, it's, it's going to take and he can get behind you. Well, it's all going to come back and yeah, be nullified. That it appears. is going to be gone, holding on Ada, so never mind. And instead of a fresh set of downs for Ada, it's going to be second down and probably around 16. So it looks like the hold was a couple of yards beyond the line of scrimmage. Second down and 17. Stack of four right receivers. Screen set up. Pass is complete to Fisher, and he is going nowhere. Yeah, he's belted by Underwood. I mean, he is absolutely tattooed right there. Good job there closing in and making that open field solo tackle by the senior. Underwood, Sanders, Bo Sanders also in there on the stop. And it is third down and a cruise ship coming up for Ada. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Eight nothing USV on the Lee Singers Recipe Chicken scoreboard. And another setup with four wide receivers staggered here on the near side. You wouldn't think they'd go to the screen again. Nope, Green's going to go to the opposite side, and a flag comes down as there is a battle for positioning, and I think this might be defensive pass interference against USV. Yeah, I'm curious. The back official, let's see what he calls. So we're going to call defensive pass interference. That will be a Kenton Moose first down for Ada. That's one you, of those jump ball situations, partners, like the charge in basketball. It's a 50-50 call. Right. You know, and if, if Hickman doesn't go for that football, there's no, there's no penalty. Yeah. I think him going after it to try to get his hands on it, you know, that's one of those 50-50s right there, and it went against the Rams. Good effort so, by both teams going after that football, both players. So correction, not a first down, but it does give them 15 yards. 
DPI is not an automatic first down in high school football. It is third and six. Green looking to pass on third down, and the pass complete to Trevor McGue, and that will be a Kenton Moose first down. Yeah, pretty play there. A little pitch and catch on the out pattern, getting enough for the first down. Like you said, getting his feet in bounds going to give the Bulldogs a first down. Yeah, if you can recall, how did Upper get their touchdown? That was on a pass interference, mm -hmm. right? Yep. That was a third down play, and they got retained possession of the football and marched it right down and got the touchdown. Let's see if the Bulldogs can't do the same thing. Ball in the 38, 438 remaining in the first half. Green rolling to his right. Oh, we got a Let's this one go. Pass is incomplete. That one's Defensed come by back. Maddox Underwood. And yeah, you're right. Regardless, that one's going to come back. Flags all over the place, and that one's coming back. Yeah, that one right there was one of those that uh, was obvious to the eye. It was a hooking. I think if he would have just shedded him with a shoulder pad, he'd have been okay, but mm -hmm. when he got caught extending that wing. So first down and 20. Ada backed up almost to midfield. Have to get to the 29-yard line for a first down. Green pitch to Fisher and only picks up about four on that play. Appeared to be Andrew Kendall coming up from his corner position right there, going low, knocking Fisher to the ground. Nice play by that young man for the Rams from the secondary spot. Both teams trying some different formations tonight, Gilly. We've seen some halfback passes. We've seen some option. We've seen a couple of guys in five different wide. positions, five wide. Opposite field screens. Misdirection. Feel like we're not far away from pulling out Statue of Liberty or annexation of Costa Rica. Yeah. Student body left. I think we got a clock reset on the. Oh, uh, we, do we have a 25 second clock? We don't have a 25 second clock. Green catching the ball back. Very possibly saving the possession there as. What did he do? Did, I didn't see it. Did he the, throw it and caught it? Well, the ball popped out of his hands, and he reclaimed it. Oh, okay. Good play there by that young man, then not turning the football over. They're saying sticks say first and 18. That can't be right. Clock the... Third down. The pass, here is a flag on the opposite side. Trying to push through to the 39 yard line is, and another flag coming out at the very end of the play. So we're gonna see how the officials sort this out. My guess is there was some extracurricular activity after the play, so I'm going to say hold and unsportsmanlike conduct, Gilly. That's my guess. Well, I agree with you on the second one. The first one, I, I'm not sure about. Uh, one of the officials heading over to the USV sideline, trying to see what they want here. And Dustin Price getting the explanation. Okay, they're going to take the personal foul at the end of the play, it appears. So they'll take that. Did they still give him the completed play, though? I don't think so. There was that first flag, partner. They never said, or they never give notification right, of it, but right. I think when they talked to Coach Price, 
he wanted the personal foul. So that should put them, is it okay, it's still third down? Third down and now pick one. Cruise ship. Twenty two. Battleship. PA announcer here said third down in Bluffton. Ten. That's quite a while. Twenty. It's twenty about well, twenty two yards it appears. Ten, twenty. Okay, they you know, it's times like this where you think, man, I was really good at math, but now I'm just not so sure. Well, whoever the uh, marker in charge over there, they are working their tails off, aren't yeah, they? They are for sure. It's almost like a code. Three, know. four, two, four. S sweating more than we are. And Absolutely. We're, not, we're just sitting in a hot box. Fourth and 31, and... We're going to have an eight a timeout, Critton Aerial Applications timeout. We'll take it as well. 2.58 remaining in the first half. 8 nothing USV here on WOSN. Welcome back. Fourth and 31. I'm not going to say that too many times this season. Eight a back to punt. And some issues with the snap. We're going to try and get it off. They will. And not a bad recovery there as that ball is That's a to the 43-yard line. Absolutely. That goes from instant danger to, well, I'm glad I got a foot on that one. Yeah. Give him credit. He didn't panic. Bought the defense about 25 yards. Had he play for the sophomore. Andrew Allen. So that'll bring the Rams back out on offense with 2.49 remaining. Rams have two timeouts. Underwood. Under center, man in motion. Oh, no chicanery reverse. here. Double reverse. Roberts with the ball and out across the 50 and pushed out of bounds. Uh, around the 47, I think. Appeared to be Brody Erickson chasing him out at the boundary on the far side, but not until he got about. Uh, they're gonna five yards. Him. They're going to mark him. Uh, 49? Yeah, about the 49. I thought he had a few more yards than that, partner, but they're going to mark him on this side of the 50. That's a good job by Brody there, chasing him down. He, though he didn't get the tackle, he did push him out of bounds. Like you said, I thought he got about eight or nine yards there. Good job there by running him out at the boundary. So add that to the uh, basket of trick plays we've seen between the two teams here. Straight up handoff on second down. About four yards there is Sanders taking that out across midfield. And that will bring up a third down, and that looks like about three. Looks like Erickson tripped him up along with Amos for the Bulldogs. Good job leaning forward there by Sanders. Got about three, gonna get what, third and a long three? I think so. See what the Bulldogs has drawn up defensively here. 141 remaining. Underwood will keep it on third down and is swallowed up right past the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard if that. It's going to be fourth down. Zimmerman on the stop along with Simon. Go for it, territory. Trevor, Trevor McGill. I would say yes. That appears to be what they're going to do. We'll see if they just go for it, try to draw them off sides. Underwood under center, and well, they did it. Yep. So a Kent Moose first down on the penalty. Appeared to be an encroachment from one of the linebackers by the Bulldogs. Got just a little bit too antsy. Broke that plane, which is an OHSA rule. It is and called encroachment. Yep.
And we're going to have a timeout. Critton Aerial Applications timeout by USV. Yep. Rams are going to talk it over. Hey, the WOSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WOSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all the scores. I think if you've downloaded it recently, you're okay. But if you've had the same app for, you know, two years and you haven't done anything with it yet. It's time. It's time. It's time. Just like those Cell socks phones. in your drawer that have holes in them that you're just like, just one more time. I only wear, I don't wear them for special occasions. No, get rid of them. Get new socks. Also, download the new WOSN app while you're there. Of course, Ryan Shadowald and Sophie Williams doing a fantastic job making sure that the app stays updated, that you have all the scores as they happen. Just in case you were wondering if there are actual human beings behind it, making sure that everything is updated. Uh, there are, and it is not me. So download that and use that today. If, if, if it were up to me to try to keep that app updated, it, would, it wouldn't happen. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Here comes the Rams. First and ten. Underwood with time. Let's this one go. Has Roberts open. Ball knocked away. Good defense there by McGew. Sure was. Well, looking on the USV sideline, it's really good to see Mr. Kellen Holland. He's up walking around. No crutches. He did have some ice on that right knee area, but it's good to see him up moving around. For sure. He was 6'3", sophomore. Yep. He was not moving very well. In fact, had to be helped off the field. Wasn't really able to put any weight on that knee. It looks like it's stiffened he's up. He's favoring one. it a little bit, but at least, like you said, good he's not having any need crutches or anything like that. Yep. Second and 10 for the Rams. Ball in the 41. 50 seconds to go in the first half. Underwood flushed out of the pocket. Rolling left. Keeping downfield. Chucking guys off. Still lets it go. And another great Defensive play right there by Ada. Yeah, that happened to be the quarterback, Levi Green. Yep. Good pressure there by the Bulldogs. Started with Erickson. Good job by Underwood using the stiff arm. And then pressure being applied by Colton Dyser. Couldn't get to him until Underwood threw the football. Then he made some contact. But that pressure forced Underwood to get rid of the football. And a better play by Levi Green in the secondary to break that pass up. And it's hard to get all the mustard on the ball you want to get on it when you're being chased. Oh. When you have to fall back and you're throwing off your back foot. Yep. Um, and that, that impacts that throw more as much as anything else. Okay. And we're going to have another timeout. Take a timeout. So USV is going to take their last timeout. Critton Aerial Applications timeout. We'll take it as well. 39 seconds left in the first half. 8 nothing Rams. You're watching high school football action on WOSN. to go in the first half. Upper side of the valley with an eight nothing lead over Ada. And the Rams with the football on the Ada 42 yard line, third down and 10. No timeouts remaining for the home team. Fake the handoff, pressure coming, ball, nice catch there up in the middle, Mason Thompson with the one-handed catch across the 30-yard line. Good for a Kenton Moose first down. Yeah, that's a heck of a catch here. Got that one right hand, that big paw on it. Secured it. Got a first down for the Rams. And Underwood will spike the football to stop the clock with 30 seconds remaining. Credit to Mace, or to, um, to Maddox Underwood, he has been under pressure pretty much all night and has been able to find receivers and get the ball off and complete some pretty tough looking passes tonight, Absolutely, Kelly. yeah. Yeah, the pressure's been good by Ada. You know, that was one of those catches right there. You got his big ball up there and secured it. Mm -hmm. Underwood in the gun, second and 10 in trouble. And this time the Ada defense gets there. Ball, the ball comes loose. out. Yeah. 
struggle for the football and I think it's anyway the ball will stay with upper side of Valley. Yeah, it appeared to be Wyatt Helton, number 73. After digging through, I found him. He wears 40 and 73, but yeah, left tackle. Nice job getting on that football right there. Great pressure by the Bulldogs. I did not see who happened to be the one to put the pressure on Underwood. Big play, though. So they're communicating with the clock to get it down to the spot. 12 seconds. So they recovered the ball, but that cost them about, about 15, 16 seconds, I think. Yeah, no, neither team has timeouts, I believe, and that's what Aid is saying. Right. Do not let anybody behind you. Underwood in trouble. Let's this one go. Time running down incomplete. Sanders. Had the completion right there at the 22 and couldn't bring it in. So now it'll be fourth down with six seconds left. And just about everyone in the stadium knows where this ball is going. Well, if we've been doing trick plays, now would be a great time for a hook and ladder. Yeah. Or something else. <laughs> right, yeah. Or, or anything, really. No band members in the end zone, right? right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trips left. Last play of the first half, Underwood dropping back. Finding pressure, Underwood steps, throws, pass is knocked down at the five yard line and that will bring the first half to a conclusion. It is Upper Side of Valley, eight, eight to nothing. We'll be back for the second half when we return here on WOSN. Time wrapping up here from Upper Scioto Valley. The premier sponsor for USB tonight is the Rams Roost in McGuffey. The best pizza in McGuffey. Go Rams. 8-0 USB on top of Ada. Patrick Hamler, Darren Gilbert here with you as this has been a defensive matchup so far. So if you're into defense, this has been a great one for you to take part in here on opening weekend 2024 for high school football in Ohio. Gilly. Well, you got to believe the jitters played a huge part there in the first quarter. And the second quarter, it was evenly played at both ends of the field. And, you know, that one touchdown is the difference in the ball game. And, you know, Ada is, is not put a lot of yards on the uh, stat sheet right now. But uh, we got another half to go. And that's why you have halftime. But that's why you have coaching staffs to make adjustments. And let's see which team makes the adjustment I felt I still think partner it's going to come down to you got to take care of the football and you got to you got to win the line of scrimmage and if you do that you got a very good opportunity to get out of here with a, a W it was Ryan Roberts with the touchdown for upper side of Valley two-point conversion was good and that is the scoring as it is Ada's football here as we begin the third quarter McGew Corrals this one for the Bulldogs and gets across the 35 to the 36 yard line. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments the Bulldogs make on offense as they come back out for their first possession of the second half. Yeah, let's see what they do to establish something offensively. You know, they were held under, I believe, 75 yards in that first half, maybe less than that. And that's a, a, a tribute to the game plan that USB mm -hmm. has uh, put together for this first half. So the Bulldogs come out, as you said, offensively not a ton of success so far. We'll see if they can change that up here in the second half. Four wide, man in motion for Levi Green, first and 10. The ball in the 36 yard line. Green is gonna keep this one up the middle on first down and has a seam. Kenton moves first down and then some. It is a track race and Green turns on the Jets and he is 
gone for an Ada Automotive touchdown. How about that to start the half, Bulldogs? Well, I'll tell you what, when he turned a corner and got to the outside, crossed the field, it turned into a foot race, and he just outran the black and red to pay dirt. Hit fourth gear around the 35-yard line and puts it in for six. Yeah, he can be dangerous with his legs and great job up front opening up the hole, giving him the seam, and then it was, just, like I said, turned into a foot race, and he outran the Rams to the end zone. 64-yard scamper for Levi Green. And it looks like... Yeah, they're going to come back and try gonna, to go for two. They're going to go for two, yep. Great start for Ada. Snap is low, but it is corralled and put in. Kane Fisher takes it in for two, and just like that, it is tied at eight here at USB. 17 seconds is all it took to put a touchdown on the board. Yeah, I'm not so sure, number three. partner, he didn't go in there untouched. He got up ahead of steam and got in between that left tackle and that left guard, and they just opened up a hole in there for him to run directly through to the end zone, untouched. And nice hands, too, able to corral that snap. It was low, able to get it back and take it in for the two-point conversion. So just like that, we are tied at eight. What a way for the second half to start. That got the Bulldogs, Bulldog fans fired up on the other side. Yeah, that one right there will put a little bit of pep in your step right there, mm -hmm. going down the field in 17 seconds. Last time in this matchup, Upper Scioto Valley beat Ada in this game was 1996. Hard to believe that for all of the struggles that Ada has had over the last few years and the success that Upper Scioto Valley has had, that Ada has been able to reliably have USV's number here over the, since the last 28 years. Well, and I think it's a great game to have on your schedule, especially week one. You know, Ada going into the Blanchard Valley Conference this season mm -hmm. and Upper Soda Valley, you know, competing in the Northwest Central Conference. Great opener for both teams. Ada making the move to the BVC which will give them a new plethora of opponents to pick from. 60 years in the Northwest Conference for the Ada Bulldogs for making the change this season. Year number one in the BVC. Nice boot there by that young man. Roberts takes it at the 15, dives ahead to the 22-yard line, and that will be where the Rams set up shop here for their first drive of the third quarter. Brody Erickson there for the solo tackle for the Bulldogs. The purple and gold. Let's see what USV has offensively versus Sean Christopher's defense. Ball on the 21. First and 10, Underwood. Under center, he is going to keep it, go around the edge to the 30-yard line. Dives across the 30 to the 32, and, and he is down. Looks like he's Liam favoring Liam on the stop. There's actually a couple Rammies down. you got to believe one if it's cramps. I'd say I saw Underwood kind of favoring his calf, and another one, I can't see who the other player that's down. He's getting stretched out, so... Uh, we are in cramp territory here in the third quarter. Well, Maddox has had some experience with an ankle. Hopefully that's not what it is. It's an almost like it's an arch area, but he played through it this summer, but it's got to be awful painful. He's a tough-nosed kid. I'm sure he's going to get back in there. So second down coming up is, I think we have a. 
Yeah, we got one on the ground right now. Yes, yes. So still being attended Appear, to. Appears to be cramps. All right. We'll take a timeout, and we'll come back in just a little bit. It is all tied up at 8 here on WOSN. Left 28 remaining in the third quarter. USB football in second and one. Roberts takes the direct snap, having to fight some guys off, and is met right at the line of scrimmage. Can't get enough for the Kenton Moose first down. That'll bring up third down. Yeah, he was run down by outside linebacker Gavin Oldfield, the six foot junior. Also, Ian House, the senior linebacker, number five, also playing corner. Nice play there. Running Roberts down. Maddox Underwood will come back into the game. Left a play or so ago with what we thought were cramps. Uh, and that and another player who we never actually quite saw. He was in a clump there at the sideline for USV. And now Underwood back in the contest for third and one. Okay, they give him the first down, partner. Oh, all right. So uh, it will be a Kenton Moose first down. They brought the measurement out. And that will move the sticks for the Rams. Rams hurry back to the line of scrimmage. Ball on the 30, first and 10. And the word rolling to his left. And going to tuck and run. Stiff arm at the 40 and steps out of bounds at the 41. Just shy of the 41-yard line. And he is going to be, hey, they're going to give him the first down. Kent Moose first down for the Rams. Nice stiff arm there by Mr. Underwood. Just held off Oldfield enough to get that 10 yards in that first down with that little stiff arm that he threw right there, keeping number one from... Tackling, pushed him out of bounds, but not until Underwood, like you said, got a first down for the Rams. Ball on the 41, handoff to Sanders, trying to cut back inside the 45, 46 yard line, pick up a five. He barreled his way, got about five yards, partner, with that effort. USV doing a nice job moving the ball down the field via the run game here in the early going of the third quarter. Blake Zolad's on the stop for the Bulldogs. Second and five, Underwood fakes the handoff, keeps it, pushes forward to the 49 yard line. He's gonna be about a yard shy of the first down. Make it third and about a foot. Stood up by Landon Simon. T.J. Griffith. Right now, USV is controlling that line of scrimmage along the front. Up the middle once again, and it looks like from here, they're going to give him the spot and another Kenton Moose first down. Yeah, I believe he got that football across that plane for the first down. And the USV player is down. And hopefully, once again, it's just cramping. So he'll be attended to on the field. Want to remind you that our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens. And the Kenton Moose is our first down sponsor. It's Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose 428 in Kenton. Online at kentonmoose428.com. Injured Ram appears to be Michael Ellerbrock. Getting up on his own, walking gingerly to the sideline. Good to see him up, though, moving. So a brief stoppage in play here as he is attended to, and USV will 
get the offense back out. Ada got the scoring started quickly here in the third quarter. It was a Levi Green 64-yard touchdown run with the two-point conversion applied by Kane Fisher to tie this one up at eight. And USV on the move now trying to add some more points to their total. Here on first down, a modest pickup. Good job by Amos, excuse me, Dalton Amos, meeting the ball carrier. Short gain there for the Rams, putting them in second and long, about nine. Eight thirty remaining here in the third quarter. Ball in plus territory for Upper Scioto Valley. On the forty-eight yard line, Maddox in the gun. Underwood rolling to his right, going back the other way. Flicks this one pass complete at the thirty-nine yard line. Caden Lowry with the completion, but wrapped up nicely by the Ada defender. Appeared they got enough for the first down. Kenton Moose first down, Liam Vieira with the tackle. Good call, partner. I was just looking up for that. Nice open field tackle, but a great execution there by USV, especially the wide receiver, finding that marker and sitting down in that area for that completion in the first down. So another Kenton Moose first down. Keeps the drive alive. Underwood hands off. This is Sanders up the middle to the 35 and over to the 34-yard line. He looks, Amos on the stop. he looks taller than 6'2 out there. He sure does. Well, he looks just like his brother. Yeah. You know, he's built just like him. All, all the Sanders boys are all built the same way. They're going to be big and thick and... Understand, this kid's only a sophomore. Yeah, that's right. 6'2", 205, oh, ball loose. loose. Underwood corrals it. And turns nothing into something as he picks up a couple more yards on the play. About five yards, I think, he got on that. Make it eh, give about three yards, I guess. Be third down and four. Blake Zolad's on the stop. Along with Zach Zimmerman. Third and four, ball in the 31. Underwood fakes the handoff, goes right at the middle, loses the ball, gets it back. Stays on his feet, breaks a tackle to 15 to 10, and stiff arms his way into the end zone for an Ada Automotive touchdown. Yeah, that's just relentless effort by that young man. Determination, gutsy run right there, bobbled the football, maintained it, broke two or three tackles. So scampers into the end zone and breaks our tie, 14 to eight, upper side of Alley on top. A couple broken tackles, a stiff arm, a well, we've seen fumble two, and recovery. We've seen two and quarterbacks use their athleticism on both sides mm -hmm. of the ball and for both ball clubs and both of them have each got a touchdown apiece for their efforts. Looks like we're going to see another two-point conversion try. Underwood is going to keep it rolling that left side, and it looks like he's going to be short. I don't think the yeah, dive side got judge, it. They're yep. going to say no. Yep. Side judge said about a half yard short. So it will stay 14 to 8. Upper side of Valley retakes the lead. 614 remaining in the third quarter. We're back after this on WOSN. Red Zone sponsor tonight, Thermal Guard Window and Door. Quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit ThermalGuardWindows.com or call 
229-4273 for your free estimate. Not a lot of trips in the red zone for either side because their touchdowns have been long runs. 14 to 8. Haven't had many stop clock situations, have we? No, we haven't. has been on the ground in this third quarter. Yep. 6-14 remaining in the third quarter. 14 to 8, upper side of the valley back on top. And they will kick off, and Ada will get the football back, which the Bulldogs have only run one offensive play here in the third quarter so far, and that was, of course, the 64-yard touchdown. Trying to see who was on that stop. Appeared to be the two seniors, Thompson and Underwood. You know, I could sit here and say Ada's offense is refreshed, but you can't do that because a lot of those kids are right. going two ways, as well as USV. You say you want to keep the offense on for a while, give the defense a rest, but these are the same kids. Yes. Wide receivers wide. There's going to be a handoff right up the middle there to Fisher. And Fisher picks up six. Nice run there by Fisher. DJ Little on the stop. Gain of seven, second down and three, ball on the 46. So we come up on five and a half minutes remaining on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. This is Green with the keeper and once again showing some Nice moves across the 40 for the Kenton News first down. Boy, he gets up ahead of steam. He can definitely, he, he makes the decision not to run around you, I guess you can say. I right. mean, he gets ahead of steam up. He's going to go through you. Nice play there by the senior quarterback. Both ball clubs leaning on their quarterback for their execution and gaining yards. Both doing a great job here in this third quarter. And he has high acceleration back there. He, he, he's fast, but he's also very quick, and you see that when he's running the ball. Here's the fumble. Green recovers it, Good and this time USB, USB is right on out. top of it. Underwood pushing him out as he loses about three yards on the play. Caden Lowry in there. Hunter Damron in there. Maddox Underwood. They were fortunate to get what they could to get back on that possession on mm -hmm. Green's effort. Ball on the 43-yard line, second and 13. Fisher goes in motion, and what, a couple of flags come out. Yeah, I think that's what, false start? That would be my guess. Yep, that's going to be false start. So second and 18 is what it will become. That's one of those where the football's got to get out of the center's hands. Just a little mis mistiming there. Yep. Officials or I think there was something that was on the field they were taking care of. I'm trying to see who's in there at center. Could you tell, partner? It looks like number 62. Is that correct? I think so. It's going to be green. Pitch high pitch. Able to get away from the defender. This is Fisher with the football and push back. Got to the 45, I think, before he was pushed back. They give him a forward progress to the 46. So a modest gain will bring up third down and long. Do you know how close that was to hitting that defender on that pitch? That was very, 
very close. Was saying that pitch was not he high. Got some, he got that some air tipped. under. Yes, he got some air under that. Jack of a play. So Ada's trying to see who this is. Is this Underwood? I don't. Uh. Yep, that's Underwood. Yep, that is. Is that the left ankle? Maddox Underwood. Looks like he's not putting any weight on his left ankle. Yeah, as I so. said earlier, he played through an ankle injury this spring and summer the best that he could. And he is definitely favoring it now as he will be attended to on the sideline as they'll check him out. Other quarterbacks that are on the roster. Number six, Caden Lowry. Number 12, Skylar Brown, both sophomores. Yeah, you hope it's a cramp. Well, they're stretching him out, so it looks like it might just be a cramp, so that's... That's a good sign. Yeah, yeah without a doubt. So back to action, third down and 16 for the Bulldogs. Ball in the 46. Green directing traffic as he waits for the football. Just past the 50-yard line, gets it. Is going to let this one go. Pass is complete, and then McGew takes a lick at the 30-yard line. And that'll be fourth down. Yeah, that's a heck of a hit by Caden Lowry right there. Good to see Mr. Magoo get up off the turf. Nice stick. Would have been difficult to hang on to that football, I think, even if he had brought it in. And it'll be fourth down. So Allen will come back out to punt once again. This is his third punt of the night, I believe. Snap us up and gets this one off. I'll tell you what, Allen has punted very well under duress tonight. Yeah, that was nearly blocked by Bo Sanders. And that one will roll to the 16, and that's where the Rams will take over on offense. 415 remaining. Hey, you can join Nate Garlock, Miles Holiday, and Danny Holbrook for the Three Wise Men podcast. Each week, they'll break down local high school football matchups, talk Buckeye football, and discuss sports throughout Ohio. That is the Three Wise Men podcast. Look for that wherever you enjoy podcasts. That should be interesting. That, yes, that is without a doubt. A very interesting show. Had those guys on broadcast over the years, and you, you bring them on because really good job. you bring them on because they're entertaining and also very knowledgeable. Please don't tell them I said that. First and ten, ball on the twelve yard line. Takes that one out to around the twenty yard line. It'll be just shy of that. Blake Zolad's on the stop for the Bulldogs. It's about a five-yard pickup for Sanders, number seven. And, of course, USV in no hurry. We're not in kill clock mode yet, of course. We're only in the third quarter, but... They don't have to do anything crazy if they don't have to. And here is the pitch to Roberts. Roberts taking a couple of hits before he is pushed out. A bounce just shy of the 30-yard line. That's well, it's going to be a Kenton Moose first down. But there's a flag back at the 20-yard line. Yeah, just curious. And it's going to be holding. Okay. Yeah, that's one of those that's unfortunate because the ball has already been committed to this side of the field, so that hold basically nullifies a nice run there. Mm -hmm. And the play was already established this side. That's just unfortunate. Apparently a couple kids got tangled up and 
The Rammies are going to get called for a hold. So they're going to mark the football. Yeah, that's a big one. Uh, indeed. They're going to mark that at the five. I was going to say just outside the five, it appears. So that's going to make it about a second down and 20. Handoff going to pick up a couple of yards, and that's about it. Also an entry on that previous play, Kellen Holden, who went out earlier in the game. His, he is back out being attended to on the sideline. Oh, boy. So a modest gain on second down, brings up third down and 12. Underwood fakes the pitch and in trouble, making a couple of guys miss, lets this one go middle of the field and the pass is caught at the 36 yard line. What a grab by Hunter Dameron, number eight, a Kenton Moose first down and what a catch. Yeah, what a catch because I'll tell you, it was defended very well right over the outstretched arms of Gavin Oldfield. Big catch there, pitch and catch from Underwood to Damron. Great pressure by the Bulldogs. They just could not run down Underwood, and he got his feet set and twirled one, and Hunter coming up with a big catch right there for the Rams. Gain of 19, and that's a fresh set of downs. Hand off to Roberts. Looking for some space, and... Not finding much of anything. Pushed back to the 35. They will give him, well, really not even a yard. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Appeared to be Amos on the stop, along with Zoe Lads. I tell you, Mr. Amos can plug a lot of holes, can he? <laughs> he sure can. Good gravy. That young man gets down in that line of scrimmage. He's a strong kid. Mm -hmm. Final 90 seconds of the third quarter, second and nine for USV. Here's Roberts again, and about a yard, and that's it. Mr. Zolaz coming up again with the stop. Played a heck of a game that young man has for the Bulldogs. Sophomore. Another third down and long coming up for Upper Scioto Valley as we come up under a minute in this third quarter. The gun Underwood rolling to his right, lets it go, pass knocked away. Was uh, looking for Mason Thompson there around the 45 yard line, and it'll be fourth down. Appeared to be Mr. Zolaz again in on the play with the deflection. Speedster Caleb Hickman back for the Bulldogs. Be interesting to see if they kick to him or try to kick away. Yeah. Be interesting to see what the approach is. I think it's Roberts back there to punt. I believe this is USV's first punt of the game. And it was a good punt. Excellent punt by that young man. Kicked it away from Hickman. Flips the field back to the 22-yard line. So the Bulldogs will take over deep in their own territory with 37 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Uh, we're pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service. For only $8 a month, you can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV.
37 seconds. Here in the third quarter, ball on the 22. And this will be a handoff. And a nice, nice game. game. Sure. Yeah. Hey, and stereo. Hey, hey, hey. Jinx. You owe me a Coke. 30. <laughs> oh, to the 30. Pinch you, but that's nine. Volkswagen, right? Uh, right, yeah, yeah. Beatles. Nice little run there. Got about seven. Yeah, I'll give him six. Looks like we're going to wrap the end of the quarter up. That is going to be it. Last play of the third quarter. We head to the final 12 minutes of football, and it is a 14-8 upper side of the Valley lead. You're watching high school football action on WOSN. Ready to start the fourth quarter. Our touchdown sponsor tonight, Ada Automotive. Stop by and see us for all your automotive needs or call 419-634-2816. And the timeout sponsor for this evening, Critton Aerial Applications, providing you with custom liquid and granular crop applications, all from our innovative drone system. Videos and information on our Facebook page. Final 12 minutes of this one as we head to the fourth quarter. Patrick Hamler, Darren Gilbert here with you from Upper Side of Valley. The home team Rams with a 14 to 8 lead over Ada. USV looking for their first win over Ada since 1996. Somebody moved. Early. And we will start with a flag here in the fourth. False start. Yeah, I think the running back jumped a little early. We've seen our fair share of and These are all correctable, in all correctable mistakes tonight. Yep. False start, uh, holding, couple encroachment. Yep. Couple DPIs. Been a lot of good things that these coaches can take away. Both, both coaches can take from this film tonight. Without a doubt. Win or lose. Without a doubt. I'll make it second down and nine. Green keeps. And the USV defense is right there. I think that was uh, Sanders' first contact there in the backfield. Yeah, really good job right there by him. Not letting him bounce it to the outside, turning back in. Uh, I think that was actually Mason Thompson. Okay, really good I job by so. that young man. So two-yard loss, make it third down and 11 for Ada. Yeah, they're both built about the same size. Mm -hmm. Thompson's 6'1", Sanders is 6'2". Really can't discern that extra inch from this far away. No. Green back to pass, looking near side, pass complete. 31-yard line is going to be short of the first. About fourth and... Two or three coming up here for Ada. Appeared to be Lowry and Roberts on the stop. And looks like Ada's going to come back to the line quickly and go for it here on fourth down. Maybe trying to get USV to jump. Yeah, trying to go a hard count here. Looks like that's going to be what they're going to try and do. And we have a flag. Somebody moved. I just oh, we got an don't know who. Somebody's got a head across the football. Oh. So it worked. It's going to be a Kent Moose first down for Ada. Yeah, and the officials explaining it to the coaches. Yeah, tough break for the Rams. Big play for the Bulldogs. Keeps this drive alive, plus gives them a first down. So three that fresh that three fresh plays. Absolutely, resets the sticks. First down and ten. Ball at the 36-yard line. Ada trying to tie this one back up. Ball comes out, and Fisher's just going to dive on top of it. Heady play right there. You know he tries to pick that up. Sanders is right on top of him. You know, Looks like a loss of six there on the plate. Take the loss and, and move on. Yep, keep it's the ball. Better than the turnover. Yep. 
A lot of time left. Ten minutes to go. Live to fight another day. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of football left. Second down and 16, ball the 30. Green, pump fakes, lets this one go, looking long and pass intercepted at the 40 yard line. Underwood brings it back across to the 45 yard line and a big turnover. And that is Hunter Damron with uh, another Great catch, and we've got a couple of flags out here on the field. Yeah, that was Dameron, I believe, with the interception. Yeah, Hunter Dameron with the interception. And the officials are talking as there's a couple of flags down at the 46-yard line. And I would say it's after, they were thrown after the interception, so yeah, it would be it a turnover. It, it happened on the white part of the U. Yeah. It appeared to be a couple of linemen mixing it up. I'm not sure which one's going to get called. And the officials are there at the middle of the field. They're just below the U. As they are hashing this out, is what they will call. In any case, it is a interception for Upper Side of Valley. All that remains to be seen is where the Rams will start this next possession. Damron was pushed out, I I'll think, what, around he, the 43-yard really, line. The young man did a really good job. He didn't let, allow Hickman to get behind him. Yes. You know, he outran Hickman to the football and made a great play there and a better run coming back. So the official is explaining it. Looks like we got a hold. So the penalty's offset. Okay, so after all that. He explained it. <laughs> I didn't catch it. Right. <laughs> Couldn't catch up the, on the hand signals. Now he's going over to the other side. It was multiple fouls, we know that. Yes. They said the penalty's offset. Question is, well, whose ball? <laughs> well, I think it's USV's okay. ball because they're they're huddled up. I am kind of wondering. If they did assess some type of penalty, because USV is starting with the ball back here by the 44-yard line, and Damron went out over here on this side. Uh, yeah, he was over down here yeah. in front of the bench. Well, it's USV football, and I guess that's, that's what we'll that, go with. That's about where the two linemen got tangled up. That's true. So a keeper on first down across the 45 to the 46-yard line. Amos on the stop, also chopped down by Kane Fisher from his linebacker spot. Still a two-yard gain. This is where, if you're the Bulldogs, you have to put everybody in the box and make Underwood throw the ball. Mm -hmm. If you let them run the ball, they're going to run time off the clock. you got to put them in a third down and long situation. If you're the visitors. And Underwood has not had a lot of long completions. Really, the longest was the 19-yard uh, pass to Damron earlier. It's been mostly running plays just like this. Balls Ball comes bowlers. out there at the end, right by the 50-yard line. The officials are saying it will stay with the USV. So that'll make a third down and about five coming up for the Rams. Yeah, this is where you got to be strong with the football also. Appeared to be Wyatt Helton again, Johnny on the spot. That's two times he's recovered a loose ball for the Rams. 
Good job by that young man playing the left tackle. Third can, down. Can Dameron do it again on this side? <laughs> Big catch the last time. See what they dial up here on third and five. It's going to be Underwood. Carry in, moving back to the other side. Oh, and flag we got comes a flag out. Flag on the field. In the neighborhood of Holding. And this is going to be a, at the moment, a three yard gain. We'll see if Preliminary they make them replay it. Is a hold. We'll see if they make them replay it or if they take the down. Fisher on the stop along with sophomore Colton Dyser. So they will accept the penalty and they will push him back. And that's going to be a pretty yeah, that's a hefty decent play. penalty. Yeah, that's about a 14-yard penalty, I think. And again, if you're Ada, this is where you want to keep everybody in front of you. Make sure you know where Thompson is so right. he doesn't leak out. They have tried to run the screen pass. Ada covered it fairly well there in the first half. Let's see what USV decides to do. Underwood back to pass on third down, scrambling, lets this one go, and the pass is, I think it was complete there at the 42-yard line. I thought the ball bounced. They're going to say incomplete. Okay, okay I, th I thought the ball bounced in front of the receiver as he was bringing it in. Well, and give the officials credit. All three of them got together. Okay, there was three officials. Give them credit. Not one official made the call. They went collectively as a group. Good piece of officiating, unfortunately, for the Rams. It's going to put them in fourth down. So that'll make it fourth down and 14 in what I would imagine is a punting situation for USV. Roberts back to punt. And gets this one off again, kicking it away. <laughs> From Hickman. From Hickman, yep. That ball passes out of bounds at the 35-yard line, and that's where Ada will take over. So no damage done from the interception, which ended up really just kind of being a medium-range punt. And the Bulldogs will get the football back with 7.30 remaining in the game and 65 yards to go. Yeah, a lot of time left for both ball clubs. Yeah. And Ada has all three of their timeouts. Both teams have all three of their timeouts, as it turns out. What have we had, one turnover tonight? I think so. On the interception. Yeah, on the interception. The couple fumbles, but the teams have recovered their own. Mm -hmm. And oh, we're going to have an encroachment. encroachment. Appeared to be this right side defensive end. It's going to be Doug May. Fight with sophomore. Lancy. Little Lansing. High school, you do not have to make contact with the opposition. You just have to cross the imaginary yep. plane. And that is indeed what happened there. So first and five. Fisher goes in motion. Green with the keeper going up the middle and met about two yards past the line of scrimmage and two yards is all he'll get. I think that was Mason Thompson shedding the block and making the tackle there on Levi Green. Yeah. Let's see how big that encroachment call is right here. You're putting Ada in a short. Second down and two here. Versus that second and seven. Now it's second and two. Chance to open the playbook up. We'll see what happens. And a flag comes out. Did we get encroachment or false start? 
False start. So both teams trading the same five yards throughout the night. Okay, they got their five yards back. There's their second and seven. <laughs> I was just about to say, second and short but opens it, up the playbook, but. But, yeah, but, but I mean, seriously, you, you've got to go with something high percentage on that second and two. Now mm -hmm. you got to go back to your playbook again. Yep. And cover something, and there goes the clock. The clock's not working. It's down to one minute on the clock. So official timeout while we uh, sort the scoreboard out. There we go. Back to daylight savings time. 6.46 remaining in the game. This is where you can't panic, partner. A lot of, a lot of possessions sure. left. <laughs> Clock in motion. Green with the keeper. And is in trouble. Was not able to get out of the grasp. A big Michael. Yeah. Michael and Miller fired Brown. up. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. Got a hold of that jersey and would not let him go. He may not got the tackle, but he stood him up. That's a big man, 6'3", 305. Blew that play up. Nice young man. Hmm? Third and seven for the Bulldogs. Green, passing, incomplete through the outstretched hands of Trevor McGew, and that'll bring up fourth down. Do you remember the hit he took in the first half? Mm hmm I wonder if he took his eyes off the football right there, <laughs> wondering if there's going to be a DB bearing down on him. That was a heck of a shot he took there in the first half and bounced right up. Look, you can say he should have caught that ball, but, you Absolutely. know, until you've had a defender barreling down on you yeah, going exactly. across the middle. And taking a licking like he did. Yeah. You hear footsteps. Allen gets this one off. Once again, under duress. Ball bounces out, I think, around the 35 yard line. I'll mark it with the 38, 37, 37 38, 38 yeah. yeah. What'd we gain? Two yards on that possession? <laughs> right? Didn't they start yeah, with the 35? Yeah. I believe you're right. Yeah. Yep. Yes, sir. So the Rams go back to work. 546 yeah, remaining. That whole possession was a two yard interchange between upper's punt and Ada's punt. Yep. Yeah, Mr. Hurley's going to wreak havoc on somebody this season. He's <laughs> going to get him a block. He's come close <laughs> twice tonight. Yes. Rams with the football. Underwood is swallowed up behind the line. Great play there. Appears to be number 62, and unfortunately, I do not have a 62 on the roster. I've looked up and down, he is, unless he's changed the jersey. He that's is a heck of a play. Number one in somebody's heart, but he is not on the roster. Yeah, that was a that was a great tackle right there. Solo tackle by that young man, wrapping up Mr. Underwood. Mm -hmm. Officially no gain, second down and 10. Now there's the eight in the box. Pitch out to Roberts. Finds a seam, stretches his out. Out across the 50, stays in bounds. Nice little stutter step there. Cut across the other side of the field. Out to the 35, picks up a nice block. That opens him up for about 10 more yards. And he's brought down to the 22-yard line. Good for a Kenton Moose first down and a big pickup of 37 on the play. Boy, what a great cutback by that young man. Against the grain, came this side, saw some field in front of him, weaved his way back to the other side, got himself an extra 20 yards with his effort. 
And the Rams tantalizingly close to the thermal guard window and door red zone. The juniors having a heck of a night running the football. That's one of those, if you're Ada, you got to keep him to the outside and push him out of bounds. Mm -hmm. The over-pursuit cost them right there. Ball on the 21, first and 10. Underwood with the keeper across to the 15-yard line. And this is going to be the MO for upper side of Valley for the rest of the game. Zimmerman on the stop along with Colton Dyser. And you, you have to feel that if the Rams can punch this one in, that that would just about sew this one up. Yeah, if anything, you're going to put eight in a position where they're going to have, even if they don't score, they're going to have to march, what, 80-plus yards. Yeah. With 3.30 to go on the clock. This is big if you're eight. You've got to, you've got to hold them here. Mm-hmm. Here comes the blitz. Underwood going the other direction. Underwood stays up. Gets down to the 10-yard line. Nice cut back there. Kenton moves first down, and that'll bring up first and goal. And the Rams are inside the thermal guard window and door red zone. Yeah, Zach Zimmerman right there got him by the shoestrings and brought him down. If he doesn't get him by the ankles, I think Underwood darts himself into the end zone for six. I think you're right. Ball at the seven as the clock ticking down to three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Rams trying to shut the door on Ada and pick up their first win over the Bulldogs in 28 years. And the Ada defense not going quietly into the good night. Great job there by Fisher meeting him at the line of scrimmage along with Lake Zolads. That was a heck of a pop right there. Line of scrimmage. Crit aerial application timeout. 2.48 remaining in the fourth quarter. USB trying to salt this one away. We'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back. 2.48 remaining in the fourth quarter. Rams with the football in a 14 to eight lead. On the eight to seven yard line, trying to punch this one in. Does Jacob O'Neill do it all for us? We just found out number 62 is actually 55, Brody Erickson. Underwood with the carry pushed back to the 10 yard line. And Ada takes their second time out. And yes, to answer your question, Jacob does uh, just about everything. Sad he's a Packers fan, but we won't hold that against him. Well, I mean, we won't hold it against him too much. Great play there by Levi Green. Also, Zach Zimmerman with the stop right there. Getting a little ahead of ourselves here, but if you get into the point where if you don't punch it in on this play, do you go for the field goal? Do you attempt a touchdown? I haven't seen... I think you've got the to, kicker I think yet. You've got to play for four downs here because we haven't seen the kicker. Right. I think you play the four downs, you run a high percentage, and make eight a defender. And if you get a, if they get stopped, then eight has got to march the ball what ninety plus yards. Right. On what one timeout. Mm -hmm. and if, maybe no timeouts if it's correct. a running play. Yep. Correct. Yeah, I'll be very shocked if USV decides to throw the ball. Because an incompletion stops the clock. USV's approach might be, hey, we've got two plays to get eight yards. We don't need everything here. Of course, you don't want to take a sack. Throws this one up in the end zone, and then the pass is incomplete. I'll tell you, that was a great play by Underwood because somebody was beating down on him. He did a good job sliding that pass rush and stepping up into the pocket. Yep. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, it's fourth down and what, goal? Yep, fourth and goal. No indication of 
a field goal unit coming out, so it looks like they are going to go for it and can salt this one away right here, right now. And Underwood's going to call timeout. So he takes it, Critton Aerial Applications timeout. As they want to talk this play over and a big, a pivotal fourth down coming up. And also, if you're upper side of Valley, you have to feel pretty good about this because even if you don't get it in, you still have Ada pinned pretty deep in their own territory. They're going to have to start from somewhere inside their 10 yard line, and they have two and a half minutes to go down the field. And not only do they have to score, they need the extra point or the two point conversion. So if you're they USV. They do have a kicker, so they can attempt the extra point. And we haven't seen Andrew Allen uh, attempt a kick. He's, he's punted. He's done very well. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that shakes loose. But, of course, all this is null and void if sure. USV punches it in right here right now. Absolutely. Yep. You know, if you're 80, you got to like the fact they have to go eight yards, you know, versus two or three. Right, two or three, right, exactly. And considering the fact that they started this set of downs, it was first and goal at the seven. And you've been able to hold them, actually make them lose a yard back to the eight. Here we go. Fourth and goal ball at the eight-yard line. Underwood rolling to his left, going back to his right, looking for someone. In trouble. In deep trouble. Throwing this one to the end zone. Tipped in the air and dropped incomplete. Number of guys with opportunities to get that one. Mason Thompson, the closest to the football, incomplete. So that will give Ada the football back with 223 and 92 yards to go to try and tie this one up. Well, give the Bulldogs credit. They got the stand that they needed. They got the stop. Mm -hmm. Now they've turned the, the, the football over to their offense. I believe what, they have one timeout left? Yes, they do. One timeout, 223, their only touchdown on a Levi Green 64-yard run. Got to go, what, 91 yards? Let's mm. see what happens. Green back to pass. First down, pass complete. Nice chunk play, picks up eight yards there. More importantly, got out of bounds. Gavin Oldfield with the catch. And as you said, getting out of bounds, stopping the clock. Yeah, and if you're S USV, excuse me, you want to keep the ball on the boundary side. You do not want the ball in the middle of the field. Mm -hmm. Or excuse me, I, I apologize. You want to keep the ball in the middle of the field, and you don't want the ball to go out into the boundary where they can stop the clock. Green alone in the backfield. Quick pass here on second down. Gets a couple more yards before he gets out of bounds. Uh, it looks like third down and one or two coming up here for Ada. And that's what def that's what Coach Price is telling them right now to communicate to keep the ball in the middle of the field. So third down and three. And if you're USV, you'll you'll give them every every three yard, four yard pass that they want. Absolutely, you'll let them do that the whole time. More so, you want it in the middle of the field, though. Right, right. Because if you let them get out of bounds with the stock or with the clock stopped, that can hurt you in the long run. They're going to run it here on third down. Ball comes out. Flags come out all over the place. As I think um, there might be a uh, face mask that's, call coming that's up. That's what I'm wondering too. If there was not a hand that got in there on the face mask. So the flags came out all over the place. So. I think everyone saw the same thing at the same time. So another fumble recovered. I don't think there's incidental in high school football. I think they're all. See, I can't. They I think they're all personal fouls. Unfortunately, the rule keeps changing. <laughs> keeps changing. Right. So that's what the call will be, giving him a kitten moose first down for Ada. Okay, that's a big one. That's a 15-yarder. So More that, importantly, the clock is still stopped at 2.09. So three plays, and just like that, they're at the 35-yard line. 
And they've only used up about 19 seconds. Okay, they wound clock the clock. started, yep. Coming up on two minutes remaining. Ada with the ball. Down six. Green throws this one up. He's just going to throw it away. He does. Good job by that young man recognizing nothing there to throw it out of bounds. Live another play. It appears Uppers made some adjustments defensively, taking the boundary away, forcing everything into the middle mm -hmm. of the field. Bulldogs come to the line, ball at the 35, second and 10. 155 remaining on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Man in motion. Green. Back to pass, lets it go, is complete to midfield. Kenton Moose first down. Hickman. It is Hickman. Caleb Hickman with the completion. The junior able to move the sticks. Appeared to be Damron on the stop. Nice pitch and catch for the Bulldogs in the first down. Green back to pass again. Let's this one go, same area, pass complete. I think that's the Hickman again. And he gets out of bounds. Oh boy, did he bobble it? Sure did. Okay, so incomplete. incomplete. Yeah, that's one of those you gotta secure. It's right there in the bread basket. Yep. So second down and ten. Ada at midfield. One thirty-four left. And Green takes it right up the middle. Nice run. Kenton moves first down. Picks up a neural oh block. Boy, out to the 30, to the 20. He's gone. Touchdown. Oh, he's staying Well, he's not in, in the end zone using yet. Using up the clock. Using up some clock. Now he's in. Now, Levi Green with a 50-yard touchdown run. How smart a play was that? You've if there wasn't it, as much time left on the okay. clock, I would say, you, I, I mean, it's a good he, thing. It's a here, good thought by him. Here, here's my thinking. Okay. You kick the extra point, you're up a point, but you've taken about eight more seconds off the clock. Mm -hmm. If you don't make the extra point, you're still 14 to 14. Yeah. Yeah. The one thing I'm glad he didn't do was fall down. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At least yeah. He, he just, you know, he found his way to the end zone, more importantly. Yeah. I'm glad he didn't spike it on the one either. The two quarterbacks can run. So 50-yard touchdown run by Levi Green. Uh, Andrew, Al Andrew Allen appears to be the kicker. Let's see if they kick the thing. He's a soccer player. So we've been talking about him this game so far. He's been their punter, and he's had, you know, guys in his face and has had to make some plays in the special teams department to get the ball off and flip the field. And he is, as you said, Gilly, he's the kicker and here listed he comes. on the team. So the sophomore is going to come on and try and give Ada the lead. Number 30 for yep. the That's Ada Bulldogs. Andrew Allen, Andrew the Allen. Had a nice leg watching him in warm-ups. This will give the Bulldogs the lead. Snap, hold, kick is up, and the kick is good. Tell you what, that's a beauty right there. He got that one. That one would have been good about from 30, 35 yards. <laughs> like he's done it a thousand times. Andrew Allen giving the Ada Bulldogs the lead for the first time tonight. 15 to 14, Ada on top. Can Upper Side of Valley respond? We'll be back after this on WOSN. Welcome back. High drama here at Upper Side of the Valley. It's a 15 to 14 Ada lead. 50 yard touchdown run by Levi Green. Extra point by Andrew Allen. Giving the Bulldogs a one point lead. And now USV has a minute 18. 
both of their timeouts to try to answer the Ada touchdown. Bulldogs kick off, ball fielded at the 15 yard line and well, we're gonna have some fun with it here. Going to the other side and might make some hay out of it. Not too bad, out to the 34 yard line. Not bad starting field position coming up for the Rams. As uh, TJ Griffith on the stop along with Caleb Hickman. Hey, little trickery there by the Rammies. May not be the last time we see the back of the playbook employed in this one before it's all said and done. May see a little uh, pass some sideline <laughs> sideline here. Nice Probably thought we were play. gonna see a Music City miracle I'll there. Tell you, nice tell you little what. play. Well executed. Good uh, job by the Bulldogs defensively to stop it. Underwood, back to pass. Looking downfield in trouble and flips that one oh, almost and I think intercepted. intercepted. I'm not so sure it is. I don't think it they're going to say it was. They're going to say interception by Ada. I thought that hit the ground. Yeah, Zach Zimmerman got a hand underneath the ball and, and kept possession of it. Let's see if the officials, they talk about this one. Yeah, he got his hand nope. underneath the ball and cupped it. So, may I say that's an interception. And that is going to do it here. Boy, what a play by Zach Zimmerman right there. Underwood tried to make something happen. He was going down. Ada did a really good job taking away the receivers. And Underwood, unfortunately, couldn't throw it into the ground and threw it just far enough that Zimmerman could get a hand underneath it and secure it. USV with two timeouts, so unless something really crazy happens, it'll be a couple of kneel downs, and this will be it. If USV decides to, they will. They will use their timeout. Critton aerial application timeout. They have one remaining. And if you're a USV fan, this is definitely not the way you wanted this one to end. No, but I'll tell you what, they've done a lot of good things tonight, both teams has. You know, I sat over here last year, and not a lot of people give them a chance to get Allen East, and they play and they have Nick nip and tuck mm -hmm. till about four minutes to go in the game. So, yeah, give a lot of credit to both ball clubs and to both coaching staffs for their preparation and the kids for their effort tonight. Going to be a lot of tired kids and... <laughs> Going to be a lot of them. It's going to get fluids in them. You can see it. Upper side of Valley will actually have four of their first five games here at home. Next week they host Corey Rawson. Meanwhile, Ada will have their home opener at War Memorial, taking on Buckeye Central. So Ada will. Extend their streak over Upper Scioto Valley to 15, 29 and five overall against Upper Scioto Valley. Another run there and USV will take their final timeout, bring up third down. So I suppose there's still some possibility of of silliness that can happen. It's not oh, it's completely not out, of the out of the woods yet. Have to keep that possibility open, but we have seen we have seen some silly things in this game tonight. So you just never know. No, you do, you do not know. Credit aerial applications timeout. On the field, 48 seconds remaining as and this, both teams yeah. out of timeouts. If, Go ahead, Gilly. If you, well, if you're sitting there and you're the Ada Bulldogs, you're telling the kids right now that USV is not, you know, the opponent. The opponent for USV is the clock. Yeah. So Ada's just got to maintain their composure. And even if it does go to a fourth down situation, 
Okay, you can run a play here. Is the USV out of timeouts? Yeah. So yep. that's going to that's gonna nullify, what, 30 seconds? They could take a delay a game and put them in a, f a fourth down with, what, roughly 18 seconds to go or under. Yeah. They could scramble around a little bit on, uh, on this play. So they're going to do a little bit of that. He's going to slide down. So that'll keep the clock rolling. But Ada will have to snap the ball. Yeah, they can run this down to five seconds. Pretty much do what uh, Levi Green did on the touchdown. Mm -hmm. So they're going to run this down. Well, they can run a play and just kneel it, and you know what I'm saying? Down to one second. Right. Four seconds. Gonna put four to go. seconds back on the clock. Yep. So if you're Ada, you got to stay up for four seconds. And that's it. Yeah, if there's one person that needs to be locked in, it's that center to quarterback exchange. Mm -hmm. Well, we thank you so much for watching this broadcast of WOSN as we kick off the High school football season for 2024. Jacob O'Neill being primarily responsible for making sure you are watching this broadcast today. Hey, special thanks to Dylan Hunziker, athletic director here at yep. Upper Scioto Valley High School and to their Board of Education for what they've done in this press box. It's, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. And also to Coach uh, uh, Dustin Price and also Toby Smith for getting the rosters and the information makes our job a lot easier to, to cover and especially all the sponsors that sponsor WSN and athletics throughout Northwest West Central Ohio. Gilly, always fun to be back with you in the oh, booth. Oh, it's an awesome time. Thank you yep. and Patrick and I enjoy my time with you and got a lot more to do, buddy. A lot more to do. We are just getting started here for 2024, the high school football season. Looking forward to a lot of fun broadcasts that you can only see, WTLW and WOSN. We cannot do things like this without your financial support. If you are a financial supporter of WTLW, thank you so much. If you are not, uh, consider making a donation today to Axe Ministries and go to axeministries.com forward slash donate. Um, you can also come to the station. We appreciate um, your support as we continue to bring you high school football uh, in a way that no one else does, in a way that we wouldn't be able to um, without that support. You know, with any unforeseen blunders here for the Bulldogs, congratulations to them as they move on to 1-0. and And I think you said earlier they have Buckeye Central next week. Uh, yes. Upper Scioto Valley. He's going to regroup, and I'm not so sure who they have next week. They host Corey Rawson okay, next week. Okay, they host Corey Rawson next yep. week. Hornets come into town. Okay. So here we go. Fourth down, and he is going to take off and run it down. There is zeros on the clock. That's it. Takes a hit at the end, and that will do it. Wait. Upper Scioto Valley had ran a ball into the end zone. And that is the ball game. Hold up, they never pulled the ball down. So the only, the, the only situation would be was Green down, which I think he was. So USV player pleading his case, but that is going to be the ball game here tonight. Just making sure nothing crazy is going on here. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you. He was down. He had a knee down when he was hit. Because he slid down. He gave himself up. The play's dead. So that's it. Ada 
comes from behind to win 15 to 14 here in the opening night of high school football action. For Darren Gilbert and our entire WSN staff, I'm Patrick Kamler saying so long, everyone, from McGuffey.